Mr. Speaker, the Special Rapporteur's mandate is all about Beijing's interference in our electoral process. In Canada, we have only one federal electoral process. We have only one democratic institution, and that is the election of members to this House of Commons. And three times in the past three months, this House has voted for an independent public inquiry. Yet the Special Rapporteur and the Prime Minister alone have rejected an inquiry. How can confidence and trust be restored in our democracy if the Prime Minister and government continue to defy the democratic will of this House? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Speaker, I agree entirely with the head of our opposite, but this is a very serious situation which we are facing. Unfortunately, the leader of the Conservative Party is not taking this seriously. The Conservative Party is looking for occasions to make personal attacks and toxic partisan attacks instead of actually looking at the question of foreign interference with the level of responsibility necessary. If the leader of the opposition was serious about that, he would accept the top secret briefings from our intelligence agencies that, un that explain the underpinnings of the conclusions in the Johnston report, and he would be able to weigh in responsibly. Here, here.